Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a reading to get to know a little bit more about what your special person thinks and feels about you. So let's just pull some cards. Let's keep ourselves open to the messages. Take what resonates with us and our situation and leave the rest, okay? Guys, I love you so much. I hope that you know that. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, for being here with me today and for being a part of the Pisces Club. If you're not yet a part of the Pisces Club, all you need to do is click on that subscribe button if it resonates with you, and you're gonna receive <laughs> so many Pisces readings, especially this week, because I'm doing the week-long marathon. So there's gonna be a full menu of readings to choose from every single day. And that way, my hope is that everybody finds that perfect reading that really, really, really resonates, right? Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's what we're going to be doing today. Thank you all for your likes, subscribes, comments, donations, everything. Thank you. Universe. Angels, Archangels, Ascended Masters of Love and Light, please bring in the most accurate and relevant information that tells us exactly how Pisces special person is thinking and feeling about them. About Pisces. I get a sense that this is gonna be interesting. Alright, first card showing up here, you got the Seven of Pentacles. I'm going to do a full Celtic cross with two cards per position. Might take a while, so <laughs> please be patient with me. What is this person thinking and feeling about Pisces? shuffle the cards which is taking a while <laughs> I invite you Pisces to check out our merch we've got new t-shirts and hoodies and stickers with the Pisces as fuck image on them so if you'd like to you know get some treats for yourself and at the same time support the channel you're more than welcome to All right, Pisces, here we go. Let's begin. So this person, they feel like it is taking some time for the defenses to come down in this connection, okay? They feel like in the past, you were very defensive of what you thought was right, your boundaries, your non-negotiables, and they're thinking and saying to themselves, all right, so I see that Pisces is opening up a little bit. It is taking a while, but I see that Pisces is sort of being a little bit more open to me and the connection. They feel the same way about themselves. It is taking some time, but they feel more and more comfortable with you, okay? They recognize at this time that um, they were very closed off initially, and that they were very defensive. Maybe at the time they didn't notice, but now they can see it clearly. In the challenge position, you've got the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. They think, Pisces, that... What can they offer you? That's what they're thinking. What can they offer you? It seems like you have it all, Pisces. It seems like you have it going on. It seems like you are someone who's independent, someone who is strong, someone who is secure. 
and they wonder if their love is enough for you long term. And that's why perhaps they're hesitating to bring in an offer of love in a more concise way. Now, if that's not the case, what could also be showing up here is that they are in a very good place, that they have it all figured out, and that when this offer of love from you to them, to them comes in, that maybe they shouldn't push their luck, that maybe they shouldn't accept the love offer, because right now they are in a very good space in their lives and they don't want the connection perhaps to jeopardize the stability that they have found within themselves. Does that make sense? All right, in the recent past, Two of Cups and the Four of Cups. So yeah, they know. They know that the connection is very strong. They feel it in their bones. They love you, Pisces. And they know that you love them. And it's like, it doesn't even have to be talked about. You know, it doesn't even have to be discussed. It's like, they know how you feel about them. And <laughs> they know how they feel about you. But then there seems like it's a, there's, there's an offer here that's been rejected. An approach that was rejected in the past. Okay? Um, yeah, I think that's the best way to say it. An approach. Like, whether we're going to approach this um, in a committed manner or in a more open manner or in a more secretive manner or whatever. There was an approach, an angle that was proposed by someone and rejected by others. Or by the other. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> All right, you have the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Fast moving energy and completely stuck energy. At times they feel like they want to go all in with you, full speed ahead, as fast as possible into everything that they know they want with you. And at the same time, like within a second, it's like they put on the brakes completely <laughs> and they somehow get really stuck and frozen in time, it seems. So it's like one step or... Two step forwards, one step back kind of thing. Someone here um, also experienced in the past moving really quickly with someone and it did not go well. It really ended up quite fucked up. So I think that's maybe you or maybe, you know, the other person. But someone here is like, I will not allow myself to just take this leap of faith and go full speed ahead because last time what happened was brutal <laughs> so there is this sense of carefulness i guess you could say of precaution that is being you know taken into consideration here maybe they feel like you want to go too fast and therefore that they need to go even slower to so sort of balance the pace or vice versa take it if it resonates in their mind space, the tower. And the nine of wands. Pisces, this person had, before you came along, this person had plans. This person had a very clear set of goals. And you came in and it feels like you threw a bomb into all of their plans. The tower came crumbling down. And I think that for a really long time, they were trying to hold that tower in place, those plans in place, not open even the slightest window to the possibility of those plans changing. And maybe they're still trying their hardest to not let anything disrupt their plans. But that tower, that plan that they had is crumbling, it seems. It's changing, even if that's not necessarily what they want. So how they are feeling right now, they're probably feeling quite anxious, Pisces. They have this sense that if they say yes to a future with you, that they are somehow kind of giving in to the temptation and not being strong enough for themselves. Like, 
in their mind, the ideal scenario would be them being so strong that they can say no to anything and everything and for the sake of their plans and their goals. And they feel like that's what should be happening. But that's not necessarily what is happening. And they feel like they're being weak. They feel anxious, stressed out. They feel like they are failing themselves by opening the door to you, Pisces. Or opening the door to a different plan. So it's like they're still holding on to that plan. They really don't want anything to disrupt it. Because it will somehow reflect on their willpower or something. Like this person feels like if they were to choose a different plan, that would mean that they were weak or that they were not brave enough to follow through with that idea they had or whatever. But it seems like this whole plan You know, it seems like it's becoming more and more flexible. Even if that's not necessarily what they want, I think they recognize that this structure, you know, it's not as stable and not as, you know, official as they thought it was. In the environment, Pisces, this person has wounds, this person was very closed off because they had this idea that they had failed at love. Maybe this person is growing older and they always wanted love and it was a very important thing that they always wanted to manifest, even when they were like young, really young. And for some reason they feel like they failed at it. Like it just never happened. And in a very bitter way, they closed that door off and chose to focus on themselves and not let love or the possibility of love ever destabilize them again. It was harsh. It felt bitter. It came from anger, rage, disappointment, feeling rejected, abandoned. It came from a space of fear. It came from a, well, from a wound. And it seems like they made this decision Maybe they even think that that you, Pisces, coming to them, I heard coming back to them, this could be a person from the past, um, they feel like you coming to them is a result of you failing in love, like you were settling for them or something like that. That could be in their thoughts. As far as hopes and fears, they want to be smart about this. They want to make the right choice. They want to express their negotiables, non-negotiables, boundaries, needs. You know, they want to be straight up with you. They want you to be straight up with them. And they want to find a space in which it's a win-win situation here. In a way that is hopefully not as harsh, because they do recognize that in the past they were a little defensive, a little closed off. In the future, we've got the Page of Wands and we've got the Five of Cups. So in the future, this person may start to see things more negatively. They may start to see and focus on things that are not right about something or someone. Now, for some of you, this could be this person feeling or magnifying everything that is quote-unquote wrong about that connection and upping that volume <laughs> and getting kind of scared off or blocked. But what I'm actually getting more is that this person is starting to see all the faults in their plans. All the things that maybe they didn't consider in the past about that tower, that structure that they wanted to build, those non-negotiable plans they were headed towards and they're starting to see a lot of things that they don't like about them and maybe they're starting to to think like you know maybe i was wrong to be so closed off to the possibilities so in the future they may come in with this page of wands energy you know this little bit of adventurous 
energy, see how it flows, how it goes, how they feel about it, you know? Be a little bit more open. And they're gonna realize that your connection can be that win-win situation for them that ultimately puts the cherry on top <laughs> of what they consider their empire. Maybe you're sort of like the piece that's missing for this person. You know, as a, li as a lifelong partner, that's, that's what I'm getting. Take it if it resonates, you know, this may not be a ring. Um, but yeah, it seems like you are someone who gives them as much as they give you and vice versa. It seems like it's a healthy bond here. This person is controlling. This person will continue to be controlling Pisces, so keep that in mind. <laughs> you could be dealing with uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You could be dealing with any sign, but those are the energies that are showing up here, just so you know, okay? So interesting, Pisces. Very interesting. They regret being so closed off in the past. They are open to the possibilities now, okay? I love you guys to the moon and back. I hope you know that always. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Today, I want to remind you specifically about the Past Life Regression online course. It's the closest thing I've created to be your own, you know, be your therapist at home. Because <laughs> I would love to be able to treat everybody one-on-one, -on -one, you know, but there's thousands of you. And of course, that is no longer a possibility for me. It hasn't been for a couple of years, so I created the Past Life Regression uh, course in this way, okay? It's four audios, an introduction first of all, of course, and four audios, audio therapies. You just lay down, play the audio, and just follow the guidance, and you're going to find yourself going back to the past lives that hold blockages traumas and stagnant energies that are holding you back from what you desire in this life in particular areas. So there is one therapy to work on blockages in regards to money, another one in regards to love, another one in regards to your intuition and spirituality, and another one in regards to health. And the whole point of that is for you to be able to use those therapies as many times as you want, get to know more about your soul as you do that, and unblock you know, potential blockages that are holding you back in those areas. So if that resonates with you, if you've ever been curious about reincarnation, if maybe you don't know how you feel about it, if it resonates, I don't know, if it feels interesting, you can check it out. The information is going to be below. And yeah, that's what I have for you today. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.